Dean Kirk, and as you can see, I probably come across as a typical male teenager. I like to spend my time lounging around, doing activities such as playing Xbox, partaking in a game of pool, or even go swimming. However, as I live with my parents, there are several duties I must complete before I can begin to entertain myself. And unfortunately, predominantly, my chore is cleaning. Now, I can hear you all say, wow, that must take up countless hours of your time. However, not really, because that is where ammonia comes in. Ammonia is a colourless pungent gas at room temperature that is composed of nitrogen and hydrogen. It is the simplest stable form of these elements that is used to create many commercially available cleaners and fertilisers. The chemical formula of ammonia is NH3. It is composed of one nitrogen atom and one, two, three hydrogen atoms. Nitrogen is the central atom in the molecule. It has five valence electrons, three of which are used to form covalent bonds with hydrogen atoms. These bonding pairs repel each other equally and try to get as far away from each other as possible. The lone electron pair demands greater angular room and therefore exerts pressure on the other three covalent bonds between the nitrogen and hydrogens. Consequently, the lone pair makes room for itself by pushing the three hydrogen atoms together a little and the H and H bond angles become 106.6 degrees, which is slightly less than the ideal tetrahedral angle of 109.5 degrees. Hence, ammonia is said to have a trigonal pyramidal structure. However, now I bet you're wondering how ammonia is supposed to help you with cleaning around the house. Well, I'm just about to tell you. The presence of a lone electron pair in the ammonia molecule gives it a basic nature, as it can accept protons and form positively charged ammonium ions. Therefore, ammonia can steal a hydrogen nucleus from water to create ammonium hydroxide. The household ammonia that we use today as a cleaner is actually dilute ammonium hydroxide. Inside this bottle is a large quantity of water and smaller quantities of ammonium molecules and ammonium hydroxide. The ammonium hydroxide reacts with and breaks down the fats and oils found on the glass into simpler compounds. These compounds can then be dissolved in the water which is wiped away and quickly evaporates from the surface leaving no streaks or smear marks on the glass. Ah, uh, now that's all done, I can get back to the important stuff. Be still.